Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is actually a photograph off of a police car, I guess, in Kansas. And I wasn't going to do a video, then I started looking at the logo, and it's pretty repetitive of this seven-sided star, and the only graphic that really needs to be done is that interior graphic in, in one of these. So I did it real quick, Now I don't have the names in and the text, and you'd have to... Uh, do a little uh, text of path and and fill that in but this is ended up being a really easy logo so i thought i'd just do it so anytime you bring in a logo you want to make sure it's you select it before you crop it and the reason we're going to crop it is to get just the smaller amount of tracing corel have to do the better they do or better it does i'm going to resample it it's a 300 dots per inch, which is pretty good. Then I'm going to go to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap. And I just tried gray and, gray and white and it worked. Then I'm going to go to bitmap, outline trace, clip art. And it did a okay job on what you needed it to do. You can see it's kind of messed up in here, but we're going to just say okay. Now we've got our new logo on top and you can see a little, a little bit of you know color and things we can knock out, but we don't have to do that. This part of the trace looks pretty good and this part of the trace looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do, we're going to break this apart, go to arrange and ungroup. And our logo is just uh, 1.85 inches, so we're going to change our nudge distance to 3. 2 would work, but we're going to make sure we're going to get it off the page. And I'm going to click on that part of the deal, and I'm going to move it out of the way. Now, that's not exactly what I wanted, because there's actually a, a shape inside there that I actually needed. Let's back up here. I just did this two minutes ago, so it should work. Let's go to a range. No, nope, it's a part. Let's move it out of the way. What it is, the black is still there. So let's back up. And maybe let's group all that or select it all and move it out of the way. So there we go. There's how you do that. I guess on the first time I did it, I just got lucky. Now we've got some extra stuff we do not need. But it is broken apart, so we can just do this. Now, there is actually a little gray matter in there, so I'm going to move the black out of the way and move the gray out of the way, and it left that little bit of trash behind. I'm going to move it back. Then we need the center part, and I'm going to move that over, and we're doing the same thing here. Tell you what, let's move this whole thing out of the way. Let's select all this and let's put a red outline around it. And that's what we need right there. We do not need the letters. So I'm going to move that over. I'm going to move that over. I'm going to come off the page and get all this center stuff and move it over. Let me zoom in here. We're going to take away this gray color. Well, I should have done it this way. I'm going to left click, no fill. Left click, no fill. Now I'm going to take away our outer circle. And there's our logo. I'm just going to delete. Whoop. We have to let's select it all and go no fill. So there's our logo. Now we got a little bit of trash on this one. I either didn't notice it before. There's a double line there or I did a better job at tracing. So let's try getting our virtual segment delete key, delete, and try and delete that one line. And we could actually smooth this out a little bit, but for the video, you get the idea. I'm trying to get that one little. So let's go back to the shape tool. 
and let's just select that node. Let's select that node and get rid of it. And you can, let's leave that. Let's go back, get your shape tool and, and put a little curve to that. Just kind of, I don't like that node right there. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And if you were going to do this for yourself, you'd want to take a little bit more time and maybe make this perfect. But there's part of the good logo. Now here's the good key to this. There are seven of these. So if you go to your calculator and divide 360 by seven, you get 51.42. So we're going to group this shape together, control G, control D and make a duplicate of it. Double click on it and move it to the center. Well, you know what we're going to do? Let's back up here. That's the distance we need from there. I need to group this together, control G. So I have a center. I think I've still got a duplicate of that, and I do. Double click on it and move our rotation. It should come up with a center. And if that's why I like working in the center of the page. And for the video, that's probably close enough. What you could do is find out what that size is. It is 4, 0.46 by 0.45. You could draw a circle that's point, 0.46. 0.46 and then put it on top of your logo and you can kind of see your logo is not perfectly round but for the video that's good enough then we're going to rotate this 51.42 degrees right here 51.42 degrees control D now we'll have to do, duplicate that, so it'll be 102.84, 102.84, control, well, yep, control D, and see that's the hardest part of the logo right there, and you only had to, the other ones didn't trace as good, you know, some of them you would have had a lot of problems with, but since one of them traced, and that's why I decided to do the video. Now I'm going to take a seven-sided star and I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to take away the angles to make it a fatter looking star and I'm going to rotate it. It was 51.24 so I'm going to go 26 and a half basically. 26.5 and kind of get it into the shape we want or the angle that we want. That's one thing I noticed this star to me is upside down on the police car. And you could take a little bit more time doing this. My star is not quite big enough, so I'm going to enlarge it. You just kind of equal it out. Now I'm going to change my nudge distance to something real low, 0.001. I'm going to grab my star. I'm going to move it over just to here. And that's good enough for the video. Then I'm going to take an inner circle. And this would be a lot easier working in the center of the page. And here's our original picture. And what you could do is now you, this, this ring needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to hold down the shift button to make it grow from the center equally. Now you'd want to put in your this name of the sheriff or the county. And you could take some time and work on this for real. But then take it and fill it in with black. And you've got that logo almost done. Now we need a another circle and this would help if you were working in the center of the page i'm going to move that over just a hair take the mark fill tool and fill that in i'm going to select it all and i'm going to right click the mouse no outline 
Then all you have to do is put in the sheriff's name and you can make this gray like the logo, you know, with your smart fill tool. And you are on your way. A few little more inner parts. You could leave them transparent or do it like the logo. If you're going to engrave it, the transparent part would probably be better than filling it in with gray color matching or watch one of my videos where I have, I think I call it engraving twice. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.